As you can see, we have the entire roof, all of the plastic set up. We're getting ready to unroll this last roll. You can see this side, this plastic is over the ridge, right? And then we're gonna bring this other piece on the other side of the ridge. Normally, we don't like to do a horizontal seam. Normally you want the, the seams to be vertical, right? And the reason why is because if you have a lot of weight, so imagine if I have, if I have my seam right here and I didn't go over the ridge and my plastic ended here on a steeper pitched roof, that would be a lot of weight that's spread out over 60, 70 feet. And what'll happen is over time, if your heat seam's not strong, all the way to that plastic on a six pitch roof, it'll start to pull down, right? And over time, after a year, that seam could break and then you would have an opening in your plastic. That can be prevented if you do a vertical, a vertical seam. If you do a horizontal seam, uh, in the case like with this roof, there's two flat sections. So when you have a flat section, you want to make sure that you never have a seam come back to the flat section. That's why we went with the horizontal seam, which is fine. This is a three pitch roof. So it's completely fine as long as you're over the ridge. Let's go ahead and open up this plastic. You want to make sure you get the plastic over any kind of tear points. Uh, you're going to pull it from the center, keep rolling it out, rolling it out, and keep it low, low, because as your wind's coming in, you don't want to get it out of your plastic. Keep moving back, back. All right, stay low. All right, guys. Just pull it around. That's, that's fine. Lay it down. And now, what you're going to do to hold it in place, you're just going to put some preservation tape down, and then we're gonna start the heat seat. So I'll show you that in the next video.